All right, here's my camera setup. Tripod, um, hot shoe, cold shoe adapter with camera and a light next to it. If you've seen lots of different shop YouTubers, you'll know that tripods suck and nobody likes them because you kick them around, they get in your way and I have a very, very tightly packed shop as you can see even more so when my bike is in here for repairs um, so this thing is hard to position so I want to get this a horizontal boom I thought about making a studio style traveling boom but or one that mounts the ceiling but ceiling ones are hard to do because I've got these garage doors and a traveling boom would have taken too much resources so I've got these two MB40 aluminium pipes and basically what I'm thinking is mount this like that and have the camera on the end of it and use that to position the camera with the tripod a little bit further away from where I'm shooting that way I can get the camera right where I want it so that means I need basically an adapter to go on top of here that will fit some sort of a clamp block that will match this tube being schedule 40 that should be 38 millimeters 42 no, 48, 48 millimeters. Luckily, I do have some scrap, like big scrap that I can make the clamp out of. So, I'll take one of these and have a look at how I'm gonna process this to turn into a clamp. Basically just thinking, block goes on top of uh, the tripod, put a hole, put a series of uh, locking rings in there, and boom, now you got yourself a clamp. All right, slight change of plans. Found this uh, scrap bit of, um, this, just some galvanized tubing I've got lying around. Um, it's much thinner, but it's actually a little bit heavier than the aluminum bar. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to counterbalance this, but this will be, this will make it a little easier for me to make this, I don't know though, bigger pipe means that there's more flex in the clamp, easier to clamp. Mm. I have to think about this a little bit. To be honest, I'm pretty much just winging this. I have no plans in the future or anywhere else. My usual things, plan out a little bit more, but I think I'm just gonna cut off for not that much. No, actually, I'm not gonna use this piece of uh, scrap. I know I call it scrap, but I have a pretty bad uh, too good to use syndrome, and big pieces like those are hard to come by, so I'm just gonna make it out of this instead if I'm gonna use the smaller chunk. <laughs> The pull and pump on the saw is uh, tangled in its own V-belt currently, as the uh, main pull system. should mark what it is, not what the size is, the 6061. Ah! Pretty good. All, right. All I really want is three features: a locking screw, a ball to, that will accept that bar, and a threaded ball for a M6 stud on the bottom.
What a muppet I am. I forgot I had the um, spindle set for some drilling before. <laughs> when the drill stopped moving, I kind of thought, oh, maybe I've somehow managed to fucking work out an aluminium, so I tried to power throw it. I'm not going to toy because I don't want to uh, stress it, but once I get it on all four sides I'll just tighten it up. This isn't too critical, so... Centering like this is good enough. About one mil depth of cut because I'm just trying to ease it in. Could be a lot more aggressive, but that's a tiny little boring bar. It's also the biggest boring bar I have. Twenty-five. The pipe is. 26.8, so give it another one mil and then I'll start fine adjusting it. 25.8, so let's start bringing it in. That looks great. Okay. I don't really feel like indicating it in once I take it out, so I'm just going to assume that's good um, and pray for the best. Awesome, that's a great fit. That's exactly the fit I wanted. Right, now I'm going to tap um, M6 on top and M6 on the bottom. Right, since, to be honest, I can't be bothered to spot this properly, I'm just going to do it quick and dirty. I just got roughly got the edge with the uh, side of the drill bit, and then I moved over 2.5 mil, so the spindle is roughly on the um, edge of the part. Now I'm going to move over 38 divided by 2, which is 90. That should be more or less in that direction. I just got to do it in that direction. Alright, so here's what we've got. Got the uh, block. This is going to get attached to the tripod itself. This bar going to go through, and that screw is now locked at uh, position and, and any orientation I want. I need a way to connect the camera to the end of the pipe. So far, I can think of two different approaches to do this. One, I'll make another one of these and I just thread it in there and then boom I've got myself a clamp at the end. The other method I was thinking of is take the stock similar to it 
and turn it down so that it will fit into the end of this tube. Um, push it in or pin it together or whatever. I'm not really sure which method I want to do. This will be significantly easier to replicate. It would take I don't know, about an hour's work tops. Alright, so here's my cheap, pri cheap tripod. Now, before anybody says that that's a quarter inch UNC quarter inch 20 fitting, just know I don't have that tap, but I do have M6. And honestly, I just couldn't be bothered to go out and pay for a tap. But, if I take this off, if I can take this off, No! And then I just gotta remove this bit. I'm reusing that. I gotta take this out. Which seems. I hate removing C clips. Right, here's my scale. Should be able to just. Push on that. Just get that. There we go. I'll keep it together in case I want to reverse this. There you go. Alright, now using that and those six millimeter bolt, this my six millimeter bolt pins. Should be able to hook that through. Uh-huh. Well, I need something a little longer. And that's still under the head height. Okay, and this this block is gonna go there. Yeah. I actually want that little cork pad. Go cool. pop that through. Kinda was hoping that I had a hex head of the right size lying around, but you know ideally this isn't coming off here anyway, so this is such a weird bolt, that's some um, 8mm head, not a 10mm. Should I line these corners? Probably. Am I going to? No. I'm gonna hate myself in two months' time because I forgot to round these corners. Alright, my stuff got too tight. Oh, that's on there. Good and tight. Okay, this one. Like that. Then the pipe goes in. I'm actually going to take that out and I actually want to use a Phillips head because those are easier to mess around and you shouldn't really need to talk these down too hard. Mm. That is a bit floppy eh? It, this tripod is like 20 bucks. Okay. Another one. Again, I'm just going to use a collection of Phillips heads I've got. That means up. That means I just got to reach for a Phillips head if I need to make adjustments. Maybe down the line I'll replace it with um, thumb screws or something, but. 
Okay, now on top of this, it's going to go with this little mount. Okay, that's not going anywhere. The idea behind this, I can position my camera, and let's say if I want to take a real good shot of this towel, I can move this boom in. GoPro is going to sit right there, and then I can adjust my tripod. And there we go, now I've got the camera right next to where I want it. I was thinking I might need a counter shaft of a sort, but I don't think I will. Alright, so here's the final product. I think it's rigid enough for a GoPro setup, but I don't think it will work for a DSLR. Here's what I'd do differently next time. Get a better tripod. You can already see this is gonna... break off in maybe a few months of used tops. Try and get aluminium of this size for the pipe instead of gelf pipe. I don't think that's really on meta. But I think overall this project was a pretty good success. I'll know a little bit more how I feel about it um, once I use it for actual filming. But because of the way tripod is designed when the camera is sitting here, and you want to take a really close up shot with a GoPro. Um, because GoPros can't zoom like a DSLR or a, you know a normal camera you get just as really far out view which is what you guys be getting through this project so hopefully I'll be able to take some nice machining shots with this little setup alright leave me any comments uh, I may still go back and uh, chamfer these because I can see myself getting frustrated with how sharp the corners are, but other than that, thank you for watching.